Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I have a Ray Dunn haul for you. So I'm going to show you what goodies I got at TJ Maxx slash Home Goods. We have a combination store near my house, so that's where I mostly go. As always, my kids are close by, so you will hear them in the background. Um, I'm going to show you some clips of me actually in the store. So go ahead and watch that and then come on back and see my haul.
The first thing that I picked up was this mug here. This is my my fourth mug. Can I look inside it? No, you can't. Well, actually, yes, you can. It's not, these aren't colored inside. Go over there with Daddy. Yeah. So, this is uh, the mug that I got. It says, hello, as you can see. Connor wanted to see inside because he's been watching the Ray on hauls with me. And he wants to find, um, he wants to find one of the ones that have the color on the inside. So, I have that. Let's keep on going down the list here. How many of you film and you have young kids? I swear, they're quiet, not paying me any attention, and as soon as I turn the camera on, they're off to the races. So, the next thing that I have, which I'm very excited about, is the triple planter. It says, you grow well. Okay. Guys, if you're going to play that loudly, can you and Daddy go in the back? That'll be fun. You can go build a fort in the back, okay? All right, guys. So, we have this triple planter here. I'm very excited about this because I have all my plant babies. You can see my mask cane is right here behind me. But I have several plants, several more that I want to get. So, I was really excited about this. This one, I was happy to find. Next, and there's one that I'm like most, most excited about. I'm going to save that for the show you last. So, this one, I was, I think like many other people are, looking for bird houses. So, I went past and I saw this and I just could not resist. How cute is that? And I've been wanting a hanging planter for like so long. So I was super happy to find this. And it says, which one did I get? Oh, grow. I sometimes forget what they say because I found another one as well. It said home, I believe. But I got this one. Just super cute. I love like the raw, like natural looking twine rope. And then just so nice. I think I want to put... um like a hanging kind of plant that's on my list like i have several different plants i'm gonna do coming up soon a meet my plants video where i show you all my different plants but the one that i'm still on the market for is a nice hanging a nice hanging plant that'll like drape down i didn't want to get a fern or just like ivy or something i'm thinking that i want um it's called string of pearls it's actually a succulent maybe something like that but so yeah this one I was very excited to find. This is one of my favorites. And then, last but not least, this one I was so excited, so excited to find. And when I found it, I was kind of like kicking myself because I left and I literally went back the next day to get something else that was there and it was all gone. So I've learned my lesson. If I find something that I really want, I'm just going to get it because, as I said, I literally went back the next day and it was all gone. And I think of all the Ray Dunn items, this here, this style is like my all-time favorite. So I think this is what I'm really going to be watching out for as I continue to go, you know, go out um, done hunting and looking. So, what do you guys think it is? Can you guess? Put in the comments what you think it is before watching. Pause right here. And then comment down below what you think it is. Did you comment? <laughs> okay. So, I'm so excited. I'm, I'm prolonging. Can you tell? I'm so excited by this. Unwrap it and unwrap it. All right. Are you ready? Ta da! In love. This is gorgeous. I'm so excited. It says, dun, da, da. No, it does not. It says, Bon Appetit. I'm so excited. I think the black bon is gorgeous. Connor, sit down, please. Go sit right over there on the ottoman and use your tablet. I think the black is gorgeous. It is by far and away my absolute favorite. I love it. And... 
this I like because to me, this can be decor. Like I know um, many people, uh, what am I trying to say? You know, many people, because I've been watching a lot of hauls recently and several people, nobody I can like recall by name right now, but several people say that they just buy for display only. I don't really know how I feel about that. I mean, I know how I feel about it. But that's just not me. Like, I can't picture myself purchasing things and um, just not being able to enjoy them. I don't know. Like, so anyway, I'm rambling. The point is, I like this because to me, this could be a decor piece and as well. Like, I could picture having it, like, up on a, um, like a stand, like a, you know, those metal, like, plate picture stands or whatever. Or I could put some of my uh, plants on there. I can have it as a centerpiece in the table. So I really like this for that reason. Like some of the stuff is obviously like, okay, a baking dish is a baking dish. Either you're just going to display it or you're going to cook with it. But this I feel like can serve a lot of different purposes. So that's why I was really excited about this. Now, in terms of what I left behind that I wish I would not have, they did have a square casserole baking dish. One said... I believe it said bake, one said yum, and there was one other because there was four of those actually in the black. There was this tray and there was the one other tray and it said serve. And there was one black cereal bowl, which I had saw prior, about a week prior. I didn't get them. I went back to try to get them and they only had the one left instead of the two and it was chipped so I didn't get it. Um... But that just goes to show you how much people like the black stuff because when I went back the next day, as I was saying earlier, even the chip bowl, somebody had even bought the chipped black bowl. So, um, yeah, all the rest of that stuff was gone when I went back. I wish I would have got the um, one of the baked dishes or even the other tray because I just, this is, this is just going to be my all-time favorite. I just know it. I, the black is something so cool about this black to me. Now, you guys let me know because I'm new. To Ray Dunn and hunting and all of that. Is it true that the black wears? Because I was watching someone's video earlier. And she said that the finish on the black wears quickly. And, um, you know, obviously in comparison to the white. Just with like the black engraved lettering. She says that the finish apparently wears really badly. I don't know. Let me know if you've had that experience. Um... Because that might change what I actually do with it. But as I said, I'm not buying with the intention of not using it. Like, I'm, I'm a person who collects. I've collected, had collections in the past. But I'm one to also enjoy my things. So, you know, I'm going to want to use it in some kind of way. So let me know if you've had, um, had that experience with the finish. So, that is my haul for today. That was everything that I picked up. Um, as I said, I didn't get the other items that same day. And then I had my husband take me back the next day. And it was gone. So it was kind of a bust on that. Actually, the day prior, I had my nephew take me out to a couple stores. I didn't really find anything. Because actually, a little quick story. The planter, when I first um, found this, I thought it was cool. But I was like, um, I don't know if I like that they're attached because these are attached to the base and I didn't know if I liked that because just the way my mind works I'm like okay what three plants could I put in there not that they would have to match but I would want them to have like some kind of theme and I'm like well I don't really have three plants that I could think of that will go blah 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 I basically talked myself out of getting it and then when I left the store I wanted it <laughs> so my husband stayed home with the kids and I called up my nephew and he took me out so I went back and I picked that up but as far as the stuff um, with the black items, I went back out the next day and they were all gone. And I went to three stores because it's, it's three stores that are in an immediate enough area to where I live where it's not like too much of a hassle to go. So there's a TJ Maxx um, home goods combo store that is the closest to me. It's like five minutes away. And then about 10 minutes out is at Marshall's. And then I'd say about 15 minutes, 15 to 20 minutes out, 
there is another Marshalls. Those two Marshall stores, they're on the small side. They're kind of older. The TJ Maxx Home Goods combo is a more like newer, updated store. So I do like to go in there, but you know, you still want to check the smaller stores because, you know, obviously you never know what you're going to find. So yeah, that was that. That's everything that I picked up. There is one that is about 30 five minutes away from me or something like that i do eventually want to go and check out there just to see but obviously you know with young kids you have to plan something like that because that's a while for them to be in the car neither of them like to ride very much so you know that'll be something i have to plan ahead of time and all of that so this is what i got this time i'm happy with everything that i got i'm i think i've been doing well i, I don't want to and this is not to like shade anybody else but I don't want to get into the habit of just, oh, it's Ray Dunn, I have to buy it. You know what I mean? Like, I want, I like the Ray Dunn stuff, of course. And, you know, I have fun looking forward to, you know, being surprised at what I'll find. However, I want to make sure that I'm buying stuff that I actually like. And that I actually, you know, can incorporate into the other things that, that are in my home that I love. So, I've been doing very good with that. So, I'm happy with myself for that. Because some of the stuff has just gotten, like, a little loopy. Like, okay, notebooks, pens, you know, cute little stuff for your desk. Okay, I saw in a video there were paper plates and paper napkins. Like, I mean, I don't know. That's a lot. So, I think it's turning into one of those things where it's such a popular name and brand that they're just, like, slapping it on everything. So, I'm going to stick to my guns and, you know, stick to getting... As I said, like, the things that I know, um, sorry, thought the camera cut off. I want to stick to my guns and get the stuff that I know I'm going to enjoy and, you know, that will fit in with my home. So, thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and turn on your notifications so that you'll know every time I post a video and you can stop by and see what I have. I also do DIYs on this channel. I like to upcycle things as well. So I'm going to have some of those coming soon. So if you're interested in things like that, you're going to want to subscribe so you won't miss out on that. Um, my upcoming project, give you a little sneak peek into that, I guess, is going to be a home decor piece I found at Goodwill for, there's two two items actually, and I'm they were $2.50 a piece, so a total of $5 for these, these two items. And I have some ideas brewing of how I'm going to redo those. So you don't want to miss it, especially, like I said, if you're into, like, home decor, DIYs, upcycling, things like that. So thanks again for stopping by, and I will see you in my next video. Bye.